We detected unusual trades in silver, ticker symbol SLV. This is the ETF that tracks silver. And so in this video, we will analyze the unusual options activity to find out if silver will also rally like gold has done. As you can see on the last trading day, gold hit a new high. And if you've been following our channel, you know that on St. Patrick's Day, we analyzed the unusual options. And you can see that it clearly went up based on our analysis. This was the video that we had shared with everyone. You can still find it on our channel by searching the title, Gold, How to Trade Without Luck. Because we are not using luck, we are using our analysis of unusual option activity. So we'll put a link to this video at the top here. Make sure to subscribe if you missed it so you don't miss out on these profitable opportunities because this trade in gold that we shared on St. Patrick's Day is already profitable. This was the trade in gold that we shared in the video. You can see these 15 strike call options that cost $152 each. The profit on this is about $54 now. Okay, so this profit loss diagram already takes into account the cost of the trade. That's why if it went down, it would have been a loss. So when we calculate this profit percentage, we simply take the 54. We don't need to subtract the cost anymore since this graph already takes that into account and we divide by 152. And so we can see that by multiplying by 100, you get the percentage of 35% profit, okay? So this is how these options have the leverage to make more in um, profit potential, 35% already, even though since our analysis on these options, you can see it has only gone up about 6.5%, okay? But because we used options, we can gain 35%. So if you're interested in how we use options, different strategies based on our analysis of unusual option activity, where we find higher probability of profit trades, then make sure to go to our website, okay? We'll put a link at the top and make sure to watch our video so you can learn from hindsight. So what is going to happen to silver? Will it also rally like gold? Well, let's take a deeper look at the data as usual. We can see here on the option time and sales tape, we have 35,000 contracts for these April 5th options at the 23 strike call. So April 5th, that's a week from now. So that's a short term trade. Will silver rally next week? We can also see these 20,000 unusual options here. Expiring next week, April 5th. These are the 23.5 strike calls and the 24.5 strike calls. Now you can see here that these are being sold or looks like they're being sold because they're being traded at the bid price but as you may know if you trade options would they sell both of these calls highly unlikely one of them is a buy right they would not be selling both of these calls so that is why doing this analysis is very very uh, difficult you cannot simply just follow websites that tell you if something is bullish or bearish. You actually have to do the work behind the scenes to analyze different market variables to actually find out which one is the buy and which one is the sell. Okay, same over here. We don't actually think that this is a sell, even though this is being executed at the bid. Okay, you have to do a lot of more analysis work 
to actually determine whether or not this is a buy or a sell. It is not simply just looking at the color of these trades, green buy, red sell. That is just not the right way to analyze unusual options activity. A lot of websites and scanners do that and simplify the process. And that is why a lot of people who follow unusual options get it wrong and don't make money because they are not interpreting the data correctly. So that's something you want to make sure you're doing accurately if you're trading unusual option activity. All right, so for the April 5th, let's take a look at these two sets of data. So as you can see here, for the April 5th options, in just seven days next week, the 23 strike calls, we see them right here, there were 85,000 volume, much greater than the open interest, okay? And we also see the 23.5 strike calls, 108,000 volume, much greater than the open interest. So we are in the same position as well, you can see here, where we are buying these to open. Okay, and what that means is we're buying these call options long, and when you analyze this trade, you can see that this is a bullish long trade. Okay, we're simply following these call options. All right, we're not putting a lot of our position into these because this is not a high probability of profit trade. It has a lot of risk because of the theta decay in just seven days. You can see here, if we take a look at this theta decay, negative two, okay? So there's a lot of risk trading this, but potential rewards could also be high. Um, if you are interested in the higher probability of profit trades, then make sure to go to our website, okay? We share trade ideas with our membership with higher probability of profit in comparison to this type of trade, where it is lower probability of profit, okay? Um, you can see here that these trades, even though this April 5th looks like they are selling it, okay? Based on our analysis of other variables, there is a higher chance actually that it is buying, not necessarily selling. Okay, so that is why our analytical work is different than others. Because if you look at other websites, they will interpret this as being a sell. All right, and a lot of times this can be wrong if you don't look at other variables in the market. Okay, same with this over here, these 20,000. Okay, this is being done at the same time. So this is actually a spread here which is indicated right over here. And so if you see how they're both red because they're being executed at the bid price, are they selling these two calls $1 apart? That's very unlikely, right? Because one of them is a buy, right? So we believe that there is a higher chance that the 23.5 is the buy, all right? And they're selling the 24.5 strike calls right over here. Okay, you can see here that there's 20,000 volume here, greater than the open interest. So these are being sold to open as well, okay? So you can see that each of these trades, this vertical call spread costs about $10 each for each of these trades. We can see that um, this is a vertical call spread, has a less theta risk here for negative 0.98, still going long bullish, okay? So uh, as we mentioned, this is a lower probability of profit trade in comparison to our higher probability trades that we share on our website. So if you're interested in those, make sure to go to our website and make sure to watch 
our gold video that we put out on St. Patrick's Day, which happens to be profitable as of now because gold had reached its high. So we'll put a link to that video over here if you missed it. So you can learn from hindsight how we are able to use our analyses to increase our chance of profit so that we can beat the market. Comment below on what you think will happen to silver. Please smash the like button. Take care and have a great day.